Hi guys, this is Rishab Kapoor from websofttutorials.com. In this video guys, we will talk about form handling in PHP. Means how the form data is collected in PHP. So firstly, we will create a opening and closing form tags. Guys, I want to tell you that there are, here are two super globals which I used to handle the form data. First one is uh, by using PHP get method and second is by using PHP post method. So firstly I will create a input type of submit. I will write value submit. Now I will go to browser and refresh it. You can see the submit button. Now I will write after form tag I will write action. Means when user, the, when user will submit the uh, click on this submit button. I have one more file that is uh, its name is data data.php so i will write data.php means when user will click this submit button it will go to this data.php file so i will go to browser refresh now click it you can see data.php now guys here are two super globals which i have already told you that which i used to collect the form data the first one is uh, get method and second is post method. So firstly, we will talk about get method. Method equal to get. Guys, get method is by default method. Means if you will not specify any method here, then it will uh, then it will work with get method. Means get method is default method. So we will write get now. I'll make a input type of text, and I will give it a name of username. Guys, name field is used in PHP to collect the data. So you can see name equal to username. Now, I will go back, refresh. Now I will write, I will write Rishab username and then I will click on submit button. You can see data.php question mark username equal to Rishab. Username, this is the field name which we have given and username whatever we have entered in the text box. You can see name equal to username so guys you can see we have passed the form data using get method in the by url you can see in the url data.php question mark username equal to rishab now guys we have passed the data now we will collect the data means we will catch the data so we have used get method so i will go to data.php file means you can see action equal to data.php file now we will go to data.php file and we will collect this data so i will write dollar underscore get then two square brackets and then semicolon and in between these two square brackets we will use single quotes or double quotes whatever you want to use and we will write the name of the field name is username so we will write username and i will echo it out and then you will be able to see refresh you can see Rishab. i can change it from here as well you will see kapoor now guys I will tell you what is the main benefit of using this get method guys with by using get method you can bookmark the URL means you can bookmark this URL but in some cases where the security is concerned the get method cannot be used suppose I am entering here input type of password password name equal to I will write pass and here I will change it name to pass now I will show you what is the main uh, disadvantage of using get method if you are if the security uh, if the security is concerned so I will write my uh, password like I will write you can't see password here but I will when I click on submit button you can see pass equal to Kapoor means user will be able to see the password so in that case we will not use PHP get method so in that case in this case we will use PHP post method because where the security is concerned if we want don't want to show any data to the user so we will use post method so to use the post method we will write method equal to post now we will go to data.php file and we will change get to post and then name will be same pass so we will go to browser refresh it I'll write my password 
you will see it will not be visible on the URL means user will not able to change the password I'm just echoing it out because I want to show you that the whether the data is going to another page or not so means where the security is concerned we will use the post method yes, it is not mandatory that you need to create some extra page to collect the data you can also collect the data on the same page like at the top you can write PHP closing PHP tags we are using post method so I will write dollar underscore post so again I will not write anything inside action I will leave it blank so it will collect the data in the same page so I will write pass but guys you will see another one I will refresh it undefined index pass in a so guys in the next video I will show you that how can you remove this error so guys if you still have any question you can go to my discussion forum or you can leave a comment below so thanks for watching this video guys don't forget to subscribe my channel to get recent updates about my videos let's see in the next tutorial